Hey guys, it's Ryzer here. Thanks for tuning in today. We are playing Ark Survival Ascendant. It is finally launched on Xbox and I wanted to do a tutorial video on the building. Much has changed since old Ark, so I thought I would go some through some of the basics with you and also some of the new things that they've completely reworked. So let's start with foundations. They are very much the same, they just snap into place. Um, if they're obstructed though now, they will elevate to a little bit higher so they fit in. But I'm on a flat surface, so it's that. They have simplified walls, door frames and all that, now into one template. So when you're going through your engrams and you're looking for all those different ones, they are not there. They are now simply put onto one category. So walls, doorways and frames. So you learn the engram by just double clicking the A button. You don't need to press once and then having to go and click on that. You just double click on it to learn the engram. And when we are building, you'll get this. And we notice now at the bottom of the screen, we can press the X button and that's actually going to change. So now we can build heaps of the one template and we can just switch it up to what we want, which is absolutely fantastic. Same goes for doors. Now it's one t and all you have to do is automatically, it will automatically change to a window or a door, which is so cool. So we can go one there and one there and just like that we've got doors and windows so quick and easy uh, railings you're now looking for the wood quarter wall and rating so we can obviously make little walls now half walls or as you can see down the bottom of the screen there we can just press X and it's going to change railings are absolutely awesome now just with the power of the Unreal Engine 5 they we can just do so much so I don't want to get too much into it I just want to show you that railings now the snap points are just amazing you can just the creativity that you're gonna be able to come up with is gonna be awesome so that's the walls the pillars automatically snap now to the corners you don't have to put down a floor foundation um, and then snap it it'll automatically snap to one of the five positions so you get the center and then you've got the corners so automatically snap which once again, we'll bring in lots of customization. Roofs are now categorized, and stairs are all on the roof, ramps, and stairs. So, obviously, by default, it's a roof, but all you do have to do is press the X, and it's going to change to stairs. Makes building quick and easy. Now, one of my favorite things that I learned today is that no longer with water do we need to build a thousand pipes so the way the water system works now is that we have our intake so when we select our intake you're going to see the screen it's going to have this blue haze I'm like oh what's that it's a bug but it's not a bug it is the area that you will use your wireless water network so as you can see I've already got one down here and then no more pipes we just get our tap find somewhere we want to stick it which is once again awesome and just attach it to where we want to have it and we've got instant water no more do you have to worry about pipes running through this and that if you want to extend it then you just get these guys here which is the water tanks and as long as the first water tank is in the blue zone then you can just start working your way out so if you've got your base up way up on a hill and you want to get water to it then the tanks is what you do you just have built a few tanks and then make sure each one is inside the previous one's blue circle 
and you've got water which is awesome now if you want to build around your base then you just need these guys here the foundations and they just snap so you just press in the right button to get the angle that you want and this is great for making pins for your dinosaurs but once you've got that you can just stick it down and we can build on top of that and they will snap nicely it just it looks great this time around because everything snaps in it looks fantastic which is absolutely awesome um, and one other thing I should show you if I can is that we can now pick things up we don't have a timer on some things and also snapping so some things want to snap which is really annoying but you can see down the bottom of the screen there holding right button will remove the snapping and that will give us our traditional placing where we can press right trigger once and then we can rotate it and place it down which is absolutely awesome but that's it guys hopefully this was helpful if it was hit us like and if you've got any questions hit me up in the comments if i've missed something hit me up in the comments but that is the basics of building your first home thank you so much for watching today guys much appreciate it cheers